another day, another update. My wood has come for the filter house, which is all under there, plus in the garden shed. We've got all the feather edge is under there, and a few of the 4x2s, and the stud work I managed to get in here so it keeps dry, and some more 4x2. Yeah, all that long, uh, five and a half meters of feather edge. But typical English weather, it puts a dino on it. It's a Saturday, start of a weekend. I am at the football later. So once I've got a lot done today anyway, but this morning I wanted to get a lot of the wood cut. Um, obviously I proximally measured it. I wanted to get it properly measured up, get it cut for one panel, get it cut for the other panel. So it's all cut, ready to be assembled. And then get ready to put on there. But like I say, the weather has put a bit of a Holds on that, typical. So at the minute I'm just trying to get a bit, rid of a bit of mud that we've got stacked down here, get that flattened out, because once, I'm gonna concentrate on the filter house, but then after that I can get some membrane down and then I can pebble all that, so that'll all be like a pebbled sort of area next to the filter house, which will help obviously with drainage soaking through. I'm just trying to clear all this and get with as much mud on the plant beds as I possibly can because the tum bag we've got down there is uh, all full. We've been working out how we're going to get the filter from in there, which is an excess if you've not been keeping up, into here. I think my fishing wire which stops the herons, which I'm not sure if you can see on the vlog, if you can just see it there a lot, that stops the herons. I'm going to have to take that down. I've got a load of plywood which I'm going to use for the roof, so I can plywood this area, move that out of the way, and then it's a case of me and the missus getting it slid over into there. So if I can get the back panel on and the side panel on, then get the filter, not set up, but in there, because I won't be able to get in once the front's on, and then I won't be able to get it across here if the side's on. Then I can concentrate on getting the side on, the front on, get the door on, and then we can worry about it getting plumbed in but I could do with a day of no rain this afternoon's not a problem like I say I'm at the football but mainly this morning and tomorrow so I'm trying to get jobs done I can do in the meantime in between these little rain showers that we're getting that does need cleaning out it's getting a bit blocked up the summer's been crap as you know in the UK so what's happening is because there's been no sun, the algae has been dying off, which is great, but obviously if it dies off, it's got to go somewhere and it turns to sludge at the bottom of your pond. So, and forever at the minute, more than once a week, it's cleaning my pond because it's getting blocked with all the algae being stuck to it. And obviously my filter, what she's sucking off, sucking up the uh, sludge, is getting blocked as well. The only downside as we're going towards autumn. So I think it's get the pond hoover out, get it all hoover, get all the sludge gone which is going to help the pumps out, which will help me out, so I can concentrate on these kind of jobs. Fish have been fed, they're chuffed, we're given some prawns last night, so they had the little treats. Um, pond is clear, you can't really see on the vlog, it is clear, like I say, I've been messing around with the pumps this morning, so a bit of dirt's been going around, but I need to get some of these plants out and get a few cuts done, because they're starting to bulge out the baskets a bit which creates more plank matter, which ends up at the bottom of your pond, which doesn't help oxygen, it doesn't help your nitrite levels. Right, so I'll see what I can get done in between these rainstorms. Right, next stage, one frame. That needs feather edging. I didn't vlog yesterday because I wanted to get as much done as possible because we had plans to do in the evening. This still needs another coat, but this is the back panel. So the feather edge is on. This is the side panel. Feather edge is on. Obviously it's got the slope for the roof. So I had two coats of paint, it's gonna need a third one. Even though you're not really gonna see these because that's the back and that's the side that you're not gonna see. The reason we've already had to feather edge it is because obviously it's going against the fence and the shed which means we're not going to get around to feather edge. Where the one that's for the front, which is going to go next to the door, I can feather edge that while it's on the base. 
And for those I've only just tuned in and not been catching up, it's got my filter house, which is going all the way around here. On the base, and those panels you just saw are obviously going to sit on that wall. So that's the back panel, that's the side panel, and that's where that front panel's going. And here's my door, I need to put a door frame in. And then this post has got to come out because I need then to put another panel down there. Plus I need that electric box that's there. So, I grafted yesterday. And now I need to get as much done as possible this morning. Oh, here's the bunny. He's come out. He's come out. He's very nosy. It was hard to get a lot of stuff done because he kept on getting in your way yesterday. Because he's a nosy, inquisitive bunny. Right, I need to treat the ends of that before I do anything. Right, next update. I'm rubbish. Again, I've not filmed it because I wanted to crack on. It's about six o'clock at night now. I'll just get the fish a bit of food. The pond's gone lovely and clear, by the way, in these last few days. Because we've had no sun, all the algae's just died off. It's crystal at the minute, it's great. See a big mama down there. So they're happy. Right, we've got somewhere. We've gone somewhere. It's come with injuries as well. Look at the top of my bloody head. Smashed it. Split it open. Right, anyway. Side panel, in. Back panel, in. It's bolted down. The frames are done for this side and the front side. They just need cladding. We ran out of time. I've got to get sort of the work tomorrow. I've got to get a bit of stuff done. So, it was a squeeze, guys. Really, it was a squeeze. That is more or less put up against the back of the shed. There's gaps there, but behind there, there's a post, a fence post, which is touching. That frame, which is going to go on this side, this is where the, the issues have come because as you can see, let me just step over this. I've still got to take that out. So that's going to have to come in on, the, on this side. So this post, which I've cut, so this isn't attached to anything, that's why it's wobbling. I still need to cut it from up there. I could not get them screws out. So this, we've had to do a bit of a recess there. because That's got to go around that post. Excuse the noise, that's my air pump. And then, as you can see, the wall got a gap there, which is fine, but then it goes butt against the wall there. So what we're doing, I put some plywood on the bottom. I'm hoping it's not too thick, but I might have to change that if it is and get some thin plywood. So that can cover that sort of area, and then I can clad from there upwards. Because down, not not here, because that's going to go down there anyway. But it's just there is the issue. I might even just keep that bit as plywood, get thinner plywood, and then clad feather edge up on that side, and then it can go full length across once it gets to there. I don't want a gap. And then, like I say, the frame's in for the front. That will just need feather edge in, and then final bit. Then I need to get the well first. Actually, that needs to go in. Then I can put the filter in place. Otherwise, that isn't going to get in. Then I can do that, then we can clad that, and then I can sort the door frame. So I think one final weekend, one final weekend to get that sorted. And of course, the roof. The roof. The roof shouldn't take too long, to be fair. Just needs to cut the plywood out, felt it, and then just get it on. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to do an inner frame so I can screw into this. As you can see, there's the slope from the top. There's a four inch difference. And the reason the feather edge hangs over is obviously because once this goes on there, that will butt up to that. <sighs> We're getting there. That makes me need a wee. We also need to sort out these. B and Q still don't have the tiles we want. <sighs> Alright, remember to get the camera out for this one. I've got a little system Hi. going. We made ourselves a little tool. So now how much space we need on each feather head. Ed? Feather head? <laughs> I think I've got a feather head. Feather edge. <laughs> You've got a bad head. <laughs> so like I say, we're having to clad it before we get it on because of how tight it is up there to do it. So we can't do it while the frame is on. 
So we've nearly got the top of this one before we get to the slope. So we're just making sure everything is 100% level. I go around, put the nails in, and then we get the next one. The reason we've got gap here, remember what I was saying, because that's where the slab is on the side of the pond. And hopefully that's going to be thick enough. If not, we'll have to change that for a thinner bit of ply. So this one's nearly done, ready to go on. Let's crack on. Right guys, we're in, we're in. Obviously nothing's plumbed up. and I've still got to put the side on here and on there and doors, but the filter and the is in and the roof. <laughs> but I needed to get that in because I don't know if I would have done it because we have to come basically across here. So I want to have done it with that panel in. So at least that can now sit there and then I've just got to obviously get it all plumbed in. I'm on a pump fed system. So one of my mates who works for a steel company is going to do me a steel frame. But I need to give him a template. So I need to do that out of wood. It needs to come up so much. As long as this outlet is higher than the water, the water will come out here and back in to the pond via gravity. If I could do it slightly, my inlet is there. That's for waste. And the waste, once it is raised up, I'm hoping it will go into this plant bed. If not, I'm going to go out the back and into the drain pipe but I'll come to all that when it's time to plumb it in but yeah sure now I know why I needed a big filter house just for this bad boy <laughs> so this best be the DB's knees <sighs> lovely jubbly cool right next job is the electrics which I'm going to bring up through that back bit there so the electrics can come through there and I can concentrate doing that panel which we've now cladded and the wife has already been painting over there oh there's a bit you need a wee listening to this because it does me a quick update this is in I'm just about to clad it it's now all screwed that corner is all screwed together okay and what I've been doing I've not been blogging any of this because Time is an essence at the minute because it's gone cloudy, it's spots of rain, and I've been doing the electrics. So I can't mess around trying to vlog while I'm sorting the electrics out and it's about to rain. So now my electrics are now where they should be, and my air pump is in as well. So my air pipe is coming through there, my electrics is coming through there, my armored cable is coming through there, so that's all going to be at the back. And of course, once I set the UV up, the UV then can sit um, on there, so the UV will go there and the air pump will go next to it so that'll be well that'll be fixed that the uv and the air pump can be on the shelf over there and then once i've got this panel on now we've got the filter across the painting should be done the wire's finished with it then that panel can come in and then i can screw the electrics to that panel like i say i'm just about to clad that and all we need to do um Let's cut the door frames. The door frame's going to go in there. Like I said before, it is going to be a double door. And the reason is, if I had a single door, obviously I'm not going to be able to open it that way because of the wall. I'm not, if I open it that way, it's only going to stop there. So the reason it's be a double one, because that half will clear that, and that half can then go there. So basically I can still get in and get to where the filter is. The filter's not in place, that's just sat there ready. So that's going to be set up soon. So once that panel's in, we can cut the square out for the roof. Um, even if I don't fix that today, at least I can just rest it on top, which will keep everything sheltered, and I'll probably just get some tarpaulin on to cover the front until we sort the door, which will probably be the weekend now. That post is now gone, so I just need to sort the rest of that out. The boy's been helping. He's been learning the woodwork trade before he goes back to school. He's been learning the graft and crafting. Thank you, mate. Um, get some nice LED lights in here. Can't wait till that box filter goes. Still gonna run for a bit till that matures. But I don't want new pond syndrome. I need to keep an eye on all that. I think I might need to get a new air pump because that, if you've had an excess yourself, that goes onto an air pump. Well, that isn't gonna go on the end of there with all them pipes coming out. This is my mechanical media. So basically all the water shoots through here. It goes through this grill. So it'll stop all the big chunks of algae going through and then that will collect all the dirt and stuff like that. So and that's what you clean? That will, that will, that will uh, collect the dirt, yeah. Okay. That will hopefully clean it. And then this is your outer chamber which is all biological. And this is 
pumping all the time this is air coming out of here so if you look at this um, there's little holes in it yeah for the air does it go in there? yeah and that big bag I've got in the shed that all goes in there and then comes down this into the pond this is why I need to raise it up because that there needs to be higher than the water level yeah, and plus I need to do something with the waste because at the minute I've got no way for the waste to go where does that pipe go to? There's no where it's yeah this is your outlet so your water oh. will then come out here and shoot down there and come out the bottom oh. which will then rise up by gravity into the pond that's sort of like the overflow this is the overflow so okay. obviously if it's overflowing it just goes back in again It's overflowing, it will need cleaning out. Yeah, yeah. So, four sides are in. Let's step out, let's step out. Temporary roof until I do the roof. It's gonna have to wait now until the weekend. But that's in, needs painting. This is in. This was bloody, bloody hard. The reason is I've got a pergola post. That is still not fixed to that yet. That's why there's a gap. So that still needs to bring in, so it's, that's not plumb yet. So that gap will then go, so basically that still needs bringing in. But this is in, it's bolted down. Um, I went for the plywood option. I had to cut around my pond slabs, because they're sticking through. And um, I just need some trim on the other side, so when the water runs off, it just runs straight from the slabs back into the pond. Um, so when it comes to the weekend, obviously we've got the finishing touches terms of paint etc so here then I've still got to put in my door frame and the roof so once the door frames in then I can sort the roof so this is just on for the time being but I like it a lot got the slope um, so what I'm thinking is at the minute obviously this isn't even in position yet but it seems the waste pipe which will come uh, sorry the outlet pipe which comes down there will probably go through here the inlet uh, will have to probably come this side of the post, so the inlet will probably come through there. So I'm thinking now to put my UV here, so it comes through on the UV down into the inlet. Like I said, this is actually in position, so I can still probably turn this. So now the air pump is going to have to go up there, and then the electric switches. And um, they could probably go up there as well. The cables are coming through there anyway, so they could probably run through that spar, and then I can put my switches on there next to the air pump. Um, I'm also going to get a double plug socket as well because if I've got if I've got to get another air pump, I can put that in. And I'm also going to get my uncle back round. He's going to put me in a light because it'll be dark once the leaves on. Um. Getting closer to winter, I'm not going to rush and do this yet, but I'm going to insulate it. So I'm going to put some insulation in. Um, so it does get a bit, so it will get a bit cold in here. And obviously, it will give a bit of heat for the water that's in the filter. So yeah, I'm pleased. I'm very pleased. Bit of an effort, hard work, I'm knackered. But it's all coming together, it's all going to work. My air pump's just in there at the minute. Oh, that needs cleaning out. There's not much water coming out of there, is there? Just fed in the tea. Right. Um, so yeah, this is all going to be gravelled. Oh, I'm just debating what to do with the waste. As you know, mine is a pump fed. So the waste pipes, which are there, this pump, this filter still needs raising anyway, but as long as the outlet is above the water, the water will go up in. So that's going to be quite low down, because at first I thought I could put the waste in there. I don't think that's going to happen. I'm now thinking, as long as I get it higher than the wall at the bottom, to run it out there. And which should be the side of my garden shed where the drain pipe is, and I can run it into that. So that's my plan at the minute. If I can get it up high enough where the water will obviously go down a pipe and out. If not, I might just have to put, waste it all into the gravel that I'm going to put out here. Get rid of that slab and gravel all this. Hmm, options, I'll see. So yeah, that's it for this week. 
the next job is now waiting to the weekend to get some more done.